Okay. I am calling the June 8, 2017 Water and Sewer Advisory Committee meeting to order. We are at the water treatment plant and we are going to approve, the next thing we're going to do is approve the agenda for the meeting and do I have a motion to approve the agenda? I'll make a motion. Second. Okay. And then we're going to approve the April 13th Minutes, does anybody have any changes or anything they want to add to those or anything? I don't think so. And do we have a motion to approve the minutes? Make a motion to approve Second. our minutes from April the 13th. Okay. So. Any old business? Move vote. Yeah. Take a vote. Take a vote? Okay. <laughs> what do you want to take a vote on? The minutes. The minutes. The minutes. Okay. Motion, second. <laughs> Aye. Everybody raised their right hand. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Thank you. you got it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and does anybody have any old business? Does anybody have any new business? The only new business that I have is the planning and permitting. It's, everybody should have a copy of it in their minutes. Tyso Enterprises. Uh, building out on Country Club Road, an 1,800 square foot medical office. It will be in addition to the existing 2,300 square foot metal <coughs> office out there on Country Club. Sturgeon City Civic and Environmental Education Center down at the end of Court Street by where the old surge plant was. <laughs> they are uh, going to start with that, hopefully. Down on Highway 17, Wilmington Highway at 127, Units 4 and 5, they're going to submit, or they have submitted last month, a special use permit and a site plan for a bar and a tavern. It'll be 8,800 square feet. Where is that, Jim? I don't know. It's got to be... I have no idea tonight. First time I've seen this, so I don't know. Where is that? Where is it at, Wally? You know? I'll find out as you're going. Okay. okay. Carolina East Properties on Center Street, they're going to build a 6,400 square foot office and storage. And that's about it on that. On WASA meeting will be this coming Tuesday along with a planning board on Monday. When was this report, may I ask, generated as far as <coughs> planning and permitting updates? It, it was generated um, Friday. Yeah, Friday, June. Uh, so the one we're going to have Monday will be in August? The, yes. Okay, what about July then? Would that also be in it, August? It will also okay. be in August. What you'll do, what we'll do is we'll send you out um, anything that's submitted for June for the July water and sewer report. And then for July's, you will get that in August. Okay. Even if we're not going to have a meeting, you're going to still send us the reports, right? We sure will. Okay. All and right. you'll, you'll get all of the normal information you would with um, the water and sewer <coughs> system report, the planning permitting update, and also the grease report. And to uh, 127 um, Wilmington Highway, it looks like that is in the general vicinity of where um, the old Thieves Market used to be, kind of where the um, Jacksonville Veterinary Hospital is. Yeah. Uh, right at the IOP of their thrift shop? Yes. It's near... Um, choppers. Yes, Choppers. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. By where? Choppers, where they sell the motorcycles and ATVs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's in that general vicinity. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, uh, just a quick question. Looking at the reports, the lagoons are higher and higher. Is that becoming any more of an issue? They we have <clears throat> um, unfortunately had a very wet winter, yeah. and every time we gain a little bit of um, space in the lagoons, we have another rain, which of course, rain hurts us in two ways. One, we can't irrigate, and unfortunately, when it rains, we bring in more water than we would normally. So it's um, 
it actually affects us twice, not just losing time irrigating. Um, the good news is, to date, we haven't had the emergency spray. Um, we're really thinking that we might get through this year without having no emergency spray if we can get some warm, sunny weather where it doesn't rain. Okay, thank you. But yes, they are higher than we would like them to be. Mm. I just know they've gotten more and more and more mm -hmm. over the We months. just had rain yeah. every couple days. Yes, and that, that really hurts us. I have another question I'd like to ask, Madam yes, sir. Chairperson. Yes, sir. Uh, on the grease report, I yes. noticed here pumping violations and other violations since November it shows zero for both of those. And through April, we don't have a May one, but I would assume it's about the same. Why did we not have any pumping violations? Well, we, so uh, we haven't had any, we basically, no pumping violations means that the restaurants are pumping as they should. Okay. They're pumping their grease traps out as they should. Um, and other violations may come along with, you know, a spill or maintenance or anything like that. Um, the paperwork violations, the reason you don't have any paperwork violations this month is because the software that we use for tracking was down. And the way that we track, they have basically till the 15th. So we really ran into problems of who submitted and on what dates with our software challenges. We have that resolved, so that shouldn't be a problem for this month. But that's why you don't have anything. Okay, or the water you. main breaks. Pete? The the two in May. Do you remember where the two breaks were? <clears throat> um, was one uh, the fire hydrant out off of seventeen? One, one of them was in Northwoods. Um, I can't remember where the second one was. Okay. We can get those and them out in your next report. I was just wondering because they were water main, not just the water leaks and stuff. The, one of the, I think one of the repairs we had to make was actually related to um, a fire hydrant that we repaired near uh, the Jacksonville 4x4 shop. Queens Road. Queens Road. I think that was one of them. I don't remember the other one. You know where Queens Road's at? Yes. Why is by that four by four place? Why they got the fire hydrant like about that high? I would think that would be a problem if somebody coming down there could hit it, you know, the way some people drive. <laughs> it's, it's right across from the main pump station. Yes. Right across, yeah. yeah. Right it's, it's, it's got a piece of pipe about that high coming out of the ground and then the fire hydrants on top of that. I just, I've never seen one up that high. I just wondered if it was any reason for it or. No special reason this the hydrant we use in case it floods. <laughs> okay, shouldn't flood it's, there. It's, but far, <laughs> it's far enough behind the curbing. They, they'll hit the they'll hit the light pole before they hit it. <coughs> That's the one that that was the uh, 1942 M and H fire hydrant we took out. We had to put an insertive valve in because there was no control valve for it. Mm -hmm. That was a original hydrant to the system. Fire department doesn't care how high it is. Yeah. Have we got a new fire marshal yet? Anybody know? Since, I haven't from, seen, I haven't since John anything. Reed left. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think they restructured a little bit, but I don't know what their structure okay. is. Okay. That's Anything all I else, have. gentlemen? Okay. I'm through. We're going to adjourn the meeting now so that we can take a tour of the water treatment. Make a motion. I'll make a adjourn. motion. Would anybody okay. like to adjourn the meeting? I'll make, I'll make I a would. motion. Okay. And would anybody like to second that motion? I'll second. second. Okay. All right. Good. What else?